from Mantic Games, guys, we have Project Pandora by Jake Thornton. Pandora has a box. She never had. Mistranslation. She had a jar, guys. In Project Pandora, it tells you here in the back, it's for two players. The games last from 15 to 60 minutes, and it's from 10-year-olds up. So, this is basically a dungeon crawler, guys. In the box, we have our little A5, maybe slightly smaller, an A5 rulebook, and so on. You know, shooting, we've just bought it. Shooting shows you how your dice roll and works. Shows you some of the special, special sort of stuff, toxic and ray guns, and what's that, chain Thor? Uh, and Panic for Fire. It also, as you go through the book, then you have your missions that you go through. You can see it's all based on little tiles and you work your way around or get out before the vermin or rat men, space gavens, I like to call them, get you. In the box then you get your handful of dice. Don't know guys, do we need more dice? Is anybody here at a shortage of dice? Well, you can never have too many the way I look at it, but I don't know if I actually need any more. We have bags of figures here, but if I actually just show you the tiles, uh, these are your tiles for Project Pandora that you build your, basically your dungeon to go around. You can see them closer up there. They're, they're nicely detailed, nicely printed. They'll all just pop out of this card. You have one, let's see, and then that's your, that would be your next one. Again, you can see it's all nicely painted. You can see the tiles have light because the Skaven die in the light, basically, and in the dark. You only maybe kill them. That's the second one. This is the third one. You can, uh, it's our fourth one. It's getting a little bit darker here. They're getting less lights about the place. The fifth tile. Again, you can see the various little bits around. They are nice. Now, and finally, it's your last tile with all your counters and markers and just to see uh, what has happened to your guys and whether it's toxic and whatnot. In the box, they're, they're your tiles, guys. So if we get on to the actual models here, we start off with the corporation. You get a bag of regular, I believe you get 10 corporation sort of marines and then you get a character oh i'm dropping out their arms they come with pretty much most of them with the standard sort of rifle oh they come with a rifle if we look at the bog standard guy you'll have his two arms to connect to him you can see but the two arms basically are generally just holding the one rifle and he's got nice little packs and all around him He's got his big big boots on. Every every corporation guy has to have big boots on. And he's just nice, nicely detailed little model. Here's the arm that's gonna be pretty much similar on all the other guys with his little rifle or machine gun that uh, you will stick on to him. Again, straightforward, nice little gun will do its job. There's one of the guys you get here's all your regular guys they're all in similar sort of walking moving along poses oh most of them get the bog standard rifle rifle and some of them get upgrade weapons but here's your bog standard guys and there here we have the heads all ready to go on them all on their little bit of a sprue, all straightforward. Uh, some of them, you see more skin, some of the guys are wise enough to keep their helmet on. You always need to keep your helmet on to remain safe. Here's some of the other more upgrade, the, like the flamer type weapon and the other heavier type weapons. I would say against uh, vermin, I keep going to call them skaven guys, say against vermin, flaming weapons and things like that there would, would be great. You have then your three, two more, lots of heads for them, and the rest of the guns. And here you have the other arm. It's like 
a lot of these things you see, hand, gun, the hand and the gun will fit on onto the body and you're ready to go. They should go together, I would dare say, quite easily. They are your corporation. We have your corporation character here. Let's see if I can get him out of his bag. Your, he would be your little captain, guys. If I haven't bitten his head off, which could have happened. Let's see what he looks like by himself. You can see he's got which a uh, power glove, I believe it's called, in a fist shape. You get to punch him. He's got another little pistol in his off hand, and you get a choice of what head. He's kneeling down here, so I'd say gloving somebody from a kneeling down position, depending on what, what angle you're getting them at, could be quite painful. You get a choice of heads to put on him, depending on how heroic you want them to look or, or not. Perhaps magnetize the heads and have good head and evil head or smart head and silly head. Uh, then if we move on to our vermin, if we just tip all out of the bag, in here you, you'll have your 10 regular vermin and then you have your character as well. So here if we get a look at them, these guys are bulky, these aren't just like normal little rats. You get some of them come Sorry, some of them come pre-tailed and others you get a little bag of tails that you stick on them. Our vermin, if we just get a look at a few of the bodies, our vermin are big and chunkier and more and heavier. I, I would have thought that the vermin would be thinner and lighter and more weedy and whatnot, but they're big and heavy rats. They're not your normal little sewer rat that you see going about. If you frequent sewers, that is up to yourself but yeah big heavy plenty of detail on these guys you can see plenty plenty of bits to paint if it was me it would be a uh, three colors minimum but some of you guys can paint a hell of a lot better than i can but they're all cool you can see the fittings then you get all the heads in the same bag and he would just sit, fit on like that his vermin is almost wolf-like whenever you see i'll slide a few of the heads out for you for them, oh, is that it? you get the gas mask type heads, and you get the regular heads. Uh, here they are. Here again, it's up to yourself. Maybe if you have other heads about, you may even have your own to convert these guys. And then you get all your your weapons, your little backpacks, another little ba another weapon there. And various type weapons, like the corporation, they'll have various type weapons, and some of them will be more painful, obviously, than others. That is the main bit, apart from we have a little bag of tails, and who doesn't like a tail? These will all go on your, uh, your vermin. Here we have some of the ones with uh, knives. We have, another, we have another cool head in here. I believe that belongs to the commander. King Rat, and we have all their tails here now. I don't know, this is almost like a, a fry up of rats' tails. Wonder would that be nice? I don't know. And you get a, a, an arm with a, with a blade in it, and another open arm, open hand on the other arm. This is what you get in the box, guys. It's a cool box, it's a cool little game. If you've played it, stick in some comments, tell me what you think, and I'll get on, and I'll see you in the next one.